Question, uh, do you know how much your home is worth? Real estate investment expert Steve Davis is here with some tips for those looking to sell and how home buyers can avoid some money pitfalls. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Good morning, thanks for having me. Okay, now, are people still overpaying for homes in the Houston area? Absolutely, it looks like 51% of homes are selling above asking price. So, and then when they get their appraisal, the appraisal is either at the asking price or sometimes a little below. So that forces them to come to the closing table with their down payment and the difference. So people are literally paying 10, 20, $50,000 more than property's worth right now. Okay, how can people know how much their home is worth? What do they have to do to, to figure that out? That one's actually relatively easy, but it's not what everybody's doing. People are going to these free services like Zillow, and you've got to understand that those free services that tell you what your house is worth, those free services are worth exactly what you pay for them, nothing. There's a tool out there called Home Investor Tool, and it has the exact same sources as your appraiser is gonna use. It's a thing called a comparable sale that comes from the multiple listing service. So if you subscribe to Home Investor Tool, which is about 99 bucks a month, while you're buying your home, you can find out exactly what your home is worth, and just as importantly, find out exactly what the home you're about to buy is worth, so you never overpay. So you shouldn't depend on tax records calling the county to figure out, you know, what your home is worth because they have a valuation on your property. Yeah, the tax assessed value has nothing to do with the market value of the property. So the tax assessed value can be low and in some cases high. So no, you can't rely on that. You've got to have comparable sales. And the important thing is you don't care what properties are asking. That means nothing. You want to know what properties just like you're interested have sold for. What is the average? That's what you should be paying. Okay, what advice do you have for people who are looking to buy a home right now? Should they buy old <laughs> or new? Don't. <laughs> if they don't know what they're doing, they should not be buying in today's market. Now, here's the catch. Everybody wants to sell because they can get the highest price for their home. But then you place yourself in the market where everybody else is getting the highest price for their home. The only people, I've got a client who literally sold his house top dollar. He got, he sold it for above what he was asking, moved into an apartment. And he's going to live in that apartment for six to nine months until the correction comes and the correction is coming. There are going to be massive dips in the value of homes coming up because this type of exuberance is the same thing we saw in 2006 and seven, which led to the collapse in 2008. So all the earmarks of 2006 and seven are in place now. There's gonna be a correction. So he's gonna live in an apartment for six or seven months, wait for the correction, and then go buy a house at a deep discount. All right. Steve Davis, thank you so very much. Thank Real you. Real estate expert. <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> Take care.